So by popular demand, here are my top 5 photography locations in Abu Dhabi. Let's start off with number one, the Breakwater Beach, which you get the absolute best skyline view in Abu Dhabi. I love this place so much. I visit it every time. It's just a very chill place to just chill, actually. You see a lot of people there casually walking, and it's a great place for some skyline views. There's two spots for it. One is the Breakwater Beach next to the Heritage Village, and one is on the other side where you get a different view of the skyline, and yeah, this is the best place for skyline view here in Abu Dhabi. Number two is Fossil Rocks or Fossil Dunes and this place looks like Mars. It is insanely beautiful and there's not just like one rock or two rocks, there's just multiple rocks scattered around and it is I love this place so much, it's absolute insanity and for portrait photography this place is the place. It is absolutely beautiful and it's not that far away from the city. And that is why you should not drone at this location. F-16s, I hear at least like three of them. And you do not need a 4x4, it is recommended, but the roads are well paved and you can just go there easily with your sedan car. By the way guys, I do have a UAE photography guide, so check that out, link in the description below. I have been taking pictures around the UAE since 2013 and I have compiled all the knowledge I have into this guide. It includes all you need to know, like which lens you need, best time of day, and any need to know details. It covers a wide variety of locations, from cityscapes and deserts, to cars and portraits, and even rooftops. The second edition will be out this year, which will have even more locations. Visit www.alphaspotting.photo for more information. Number three is the cliche one, but it's not my favorite place in Abu Dhabi. That's number four. Number three is Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. I mean, everyone knows Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. It's absolutely stunning architecture. Great place for portraits and for time lapse and hyperlapse uh, as well. My friend took these hyperlapses. His link will be in the description below. Check him out. And I mean, it's Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. Like everyone knows it. It's it's absolutely phenomenal. Tripods are not allowed, microphones are not allowed, and uh, if you have tattoos, you need to cover those up. So you need to wear a long sleeve. Women have to cover up fully. Men, you can wear t-shirt, but if you have tattoos, you have to cover that up. And you can't wear shorts, of course, you have to wear uh, pants. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Free entry, by the way. You will have to walk a little bit though from where you park in the basement until you reach the actual mosque. It's, it might take like a 20 minutes uh, by the time you pass through security and walk there and some other nuances here and there but overall I mean it's it's well worth it it's free and it's Shahzad Grand Mosque like if you're in Abu Dhabi you have to go to Shahzad Grand Mosque that's that's a no-brainer number four though this is my personal favorite location in Abu Dhabi and I don't think too many people know about it actually because I haven't seen too many pictures of it on Instagram, which I should. This place should go viral, and that is Qasr al-Watan, which is the National Palace. It's a 60 dirham entry fee, but I promise you it's gonna be worth it. And I don't, the videos that you're looking at right now, I, I'm not sure if they do this place justice. Like, you have to be in that place to see how grand it is. You have to be there to see all the glitz and gra glamour of it. And this spot, the perfect Instagram spot. Why do more people not know about this? It's absolutely stunning. Look at this thing. They just made this for Instagram pictures. Security here is chill. Also in Shehzad, they were chill. Uh, last time we were there with masks. So all we did was ask them, hey, can we just take our mask off for a moment for a picture and they were like no problem and that is very nice of them security in Qasr al Watan is very nice and uh, yeah they're very uh, photography uh, friendly I don't know if tripods are allowed or not I've never tried you don't need a tripod here but um, yeah I I'm not sure about that so make sure to call them in advance to ask them about it 
Qasr al Watan, guys, you have to go here at least once. Trust me. I might, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but I, I just love this spot so much. It's so grand. And outside of it, outside uh, Qasr al Watan, you also get this beautiful skyline view, which looks absolutely stunning when it's daytime with that uh, orange building and the contrast between uh, the water and that. It's just absolutely beautiful. I, I also love it. So you also get a little bit of a skyline view there. And for our fifth and last location, my personal favorite rooftop in Abu Dhabi. I'm sure there's other great rooftops too, but I, I really love this one, which is the St. Regis Hotel. This place has two views. One is this view, which I just, I think that's my favorite view of Abu Dhabi. Like, I'm obsessed with this picture. This picture is actually a very old picture. Uh, I've, if I'm gonna go there again sometime soon to take some newer pictures. And I just love this view so much and on the other side i think you have to go to the penthouse for this we went to the penthouse to get the side uh the uh, side of the the view of, from the other side which is of this and it is also absolutely stunning and um, yeah this is my favorite rooftop in abu dhabi again i'm sure there's other rooftops too that are uh, equally amazing uh, this is just my personal favorite. If you found this video useful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment below as that would help this channel out a lot. And of course, subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram for more pictures. And uh, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Alpha out.